Bobcat fans, we're here on deck with head coach Chris Watley. This segment sponsored by Roofmasters and Bubba's 33 in Longview, Texas. Coach Watley, playoff time. We're here. We're here, man. And one of many interviews we're going to do in the playoffs is what so. I'm saying right <laughs> now. Now, who is our opponent this week in the playoffs? We're playing Huntsville. This will be the third year in a row that we've actually opened up with those guys. Uh, so... They know us, we know them, and we've actually played them once already this year in our Lufkin tournament that we had down week two. So this will be our seventh, eighth, ninth time we played them in three years. So, so what, 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 is it like, what do we get to look forward to with Huntsville? Ah, a little they, scouting forward. They graduated a bunch of the guys from last year, and, you know, when we played them in week two, uh, they threw their number one at us, and we threw Blake at them, and it was a three-to-one game. Uh, they actually had seven or eight hits off Blake. So, um I thought offensively and talking to some other coaches around whatever, you know, doing our little research, like, I mean, offensively, I think they're, they're going to swing it okay. Uh, I, I mean, I know they have they have one their, their number one guy. He's, he's been a three-year starter for them. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure we'll see him either game one. I mean, obviously game two if he's done throw game one. Um, but I think the biggest key for us is just putting the ball in play, making them get us out and, and just be competitive at the plate. I think – I think our pitching has carried us all year. I mean, offensively, we've been okay. We've been good enough, but I think our pitching obviously has been the key to our success. I mean, it's been pretty, it's been pretty strong. So, oh, yeah. uh, if we can get that this week, I think we'll be in a good spot. But we just got to be able to score some runs for those guys. Well, not just your pitching. Your defense has been. Oh, the defense has been lights out. Uh, that's that's been a very impressive. For, for the games that we've got to watch, not only. Are you feeling strikes on it? Your defense is just yeah. towed the job along. Yeah, it makes it. I mean, you know, as a pitcher, it gives you confidence. You know, you can you don't have to strike everybody out. So, so what kind of pitcher do they have that we need to worry about? I mean, uh, he's he's a fastball curveball guy, uh, and they're all right-handed, uh, unless they have somebody that I don't know about throwing from the left side. But uh, their pitchers are is uh, their one guy is uh, not a position player, and this, their number two guy he plays uh, third base for him when he doesn't pitch. So, um, those are the two that we'll be looking at pretty good what's your approach does it change when you get in the playoffs or you just keep coach with your boys doing the same thing you've been doing no i we told them on monday it's our same routine we went straight to the weight room and nothing changed so we're i told them our routine is going to be the same we're not going to mix it up just because it's you know playoffs so we're still doing our doing our thing yeah so, I'll, go ahead go ahead so can the boys feel it that, that the second season started i really don't know that they know the difference yet which is kind of good i think i mean like, you know, the other night when Blake was thrown against Pine Tree, he had absolutely zero clue that there was a perfect game going. He had zero clue. Well, you're not supposed to know that. I, uh, you know it, though. You feel it, but. He didn't know it. Oh, wow. He had no clue. Well, y'all watch He didn't video. know why everybody was running at him. <laughs> at the end. No, he had no clue. He was like, why are y'all coming out here tackling? He had no clue. <laughs> it's like, I just beat Pine Tree. And I was, we I was do thinking, that all the time. I was just thinking, please don't get hurt out there. <laughs> What uh, do y'all do a lot of video work when you're coming into this situation? Do so y'all we watch video of Huntsville, yeah. So, luckily uh, for us, all their games are videoed live stream, so we, we get a little scouting report and, and they know it, so it's not like it's hidden or anything. But we we do get to watch them. Um, all of our games we video all of our games, but we do not post them. So, well, the good news is if they go to do any scouting on y'all, they got to get it on the radio, and they would have to listen to us, and, and they, they would turn it off scouting. like in thirty <laughs> good seconds. Scouting report right there. <laughs> yeah, and then they have to drive four hours to come watch it. So, yeah, yes, yeah, man, I want to know just on a side note, especially you're playing Huntsville in Lufkin mm -hmm. for the second time this season. Are you particular when it's at a neutral side of what dugout you get into? This week I, I, I was particular. Yeah. We, we've our kids have enjoyed going to Lufkin. They're comfortable there. Um, they enjoy getting out of Hallsville and going and you know, we'll stay the night, Friday night, so it'll be a good experience on that. And I, I mean I think it's the kids enjoy it, I enjoy it and um, I think we'll be in a good spot. But no, we'll be in the first base dugout on Friday night. Okay. That's we'll, a, yeah, I we'll didn't be, know if you had superstition when it came to that. Not really. I mean it, it kinda started last year. We played six games there. Every game was in the first base dugout. And then we go this year, and we played every game in the first base dugout. So our kids don't know what it's like to be in the third base dugout. So we'll <laughs> we'll be the home team on Friday night in the first base dugout. 
So, so it doesn't, the sun doesn't might affect you down there? Oh, it's going to be hot. It's supposed to be 90 degrees this week, and it will be right on our dugout. Well, that's another thing. <laughs> you, you know, you talked about, you know, the temperature's going to change. Yeah, it'll be warm this weekend. Well, that's got to be more difficult on the guys and yourself also. Yeah, and I mean, the you know, the Saturday, the Friday night game, I think, will be it'll be comfortable. I mean, that'll be fine. But that, that day game on Saturday at 1 o'clock, it could be toasty. So, stay hydrated. Definitely stay hydrated. So you, you touched on what? Any practices gonna be longer, or normal, or just just the same? No, we're we're staying the same. Um, I mean, we can stay out there till we're blue in the face, but if we don't know it now, it don't really matter. So we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully, you know, throughout the year, all the stuff that we've been trying to instill in these guys and teach and get everything ready, hopefully, it it pays off, and we make sure we do it right on this weekend. Goals like when you go into this, coach. I guess. Let me back up a little bit. Strategy to it. And I, I mean, I don't want you to necessarily give yeah. out any strategy over there or anything like that. But yeah. are you changing anything up with how you use your starters? Any of that? Any, nope. Anything new coming no, we got, that people need to be on the I look mean, for? It is no secret who our game one and game two guys are going to be. Don't know the order yet, but we know it's going to be Landon and Blake in, that, in one of those orders. But, uh, you know, obviously – We'll do whatever we can to win game one. I think game one is, I mean, you want to win that first one. Huge especially, oh, yeah. especially playing a double. I mean, it's not like we've got a break in between game two right. and three. It's just right. bam, bam. So it's. I think it's a big momentum thing to be on top and win that first game that Friday night. So uh, we will do whatever we have to do to win that first game. Um, but as far as the pitching, you know, I, I really think that's where we have an advantage on a lot of teams right now is, you know, we've been doing some live at-bats this week and, and I mean, really, we have five, six, seven guys that can get outs for us, which is a, a bonus. We just, you know, we just got to score some runs for them. You know, in the past, we'd watch teams that had particular uniforms that mm -hmm. they wanted to wear yeah. in playoff games. Course, What's that for y'all this year? No, we're, you know, at one point, I'll, I mean, and if y'all noticed, the last probably like three weeks, we've been wearing white with purple with a white hat. And it didn't matter where we were, and I was like, "Guys, we got to eventually wear the grays. We got to, we got to mix something up." And you know, they were all on it because I think we, you know, we went on a little run where we've won like 16 of our last 17 games. I think is what I was looking at. But we finally broke out the all grays, and Blake threw a perfect game, and so I think it gave him the confidence. The that we curse could, is gone. With yeah, the, we the can wear. I think else. we can wear whatever we want, but we'll be wearing. We'll be all white on Friday night. So. Well, Coach, good luck to you, man. I know we'll be there. So will half of Hallsville, I can yeah. promise you. Fans at home, that's been On Deck with Head Coach Chris Wiley. We'll see y'all next time.